Hey there, welcome to our channel. We're all about helping you cook up some delicious meals while staying healthy and happy in the kitchen. If you're someone who's new to cooking or looking to sharpen your skills, you've come to the right place. We'll be your trusty guides, showing you how to use the right tools and techniques to get the most out of your food. Today, we're tackling a common problem in the kitchen, burnt or overcooked meals. We've all been there, right? But don't worry, we're here to show you how to turn things around and get your meal back on track. We like to call ourselves the good chef that cooks in reverse to correct the problem. So grab a seat, get comfortable, and let's get cooking together. First of all, let's talk about why this topic is so important. Burnt or overcooked food isn't a minor inconvenience, it can actually be a health hazard. When food is overcooked, it can lose important nutrients and vitamins and may even become carcinogenic. Not to mention, burnt food can be downright unpleasant to eat. If you're looking to improve your cooking skills, then you've come to the right place. In this video, we're going to take you through the process of fixing a burnt or overcooked meal from the reverse. We'll show you the right tools and techniques to use and guide you through each step of the way. Whether you're a seasoned chef or a complete beginner, there's something for everyone in this video. First up, we'll talk about the importance of proper heat control. This is a crucial step in avoiding burnt or overcooked food, and we'll show you exactly how to do it. We'll also discuss the different types of cookware you can use, and which ones are best for preventing this issue. Next, we'll dive into the specifics of how to fix a burnt or overcooked meal. We'll cover everything from pasta to meat, and give you practical tips and tricks that you can use in your own kitchen. You'll learn how to salvage your meal, and how to prevent the issue from happening in the future. Throughout the video, we'll also showcase some of our favorite kitchen tools and gadgets. These can help make your cooking experience easier and more enjoyable. From digital thermometers to nonstick pans, we'll show you what works and what doesn't. So, get ready to say goodbye to burnt or overcooked meals forever. We're excited to share our knowledge and expertise with you and can't wait to see what delicious meals you'll be cooking up next. Let's get started. 2. Understanding why food burns or overcooks. Have you ever wondered why food burns or overcooks? To understand this phenomenon, we need to take a closer look at the science behind cooking. When we cook food, we apply heat to it, which causes a series of chemical reactions to occur. One of the most important chemical reactions that occurred during cooking is called the Maillard reaction. This reaction takes place when amino acids and sugars in the food are heated together resulting in the browning and caramelization that we often associate with cooked food. While the Maillard reaction is responsible for giving food its delicious flavor and texture, it can also lead to burnt or overcooked food. Another factor that can contribute to burnt or overcooked food is cooking at too high of a temperature. When food is cooked at a high temperature, it can quickly go from perfectly cooked to burnt or overcooked in a matter of seconds. This is especially true for delicate foods like fish or vegetables which needs more precise temperature control. Leaving food on the stove for too long is another common reason for burnt or overcooked food. It's easy to get distracted and forget about a pot on the stove, but this can lead to disastrous results. To avoid this issue, it's important to set a timer and keep an eye on your food as it cooks. So, how can you avoid burnt or overcooked food in the first place? One simple tip is to use a thermometer to check the temperature of the meat. This will ensure that your meat is cooked to the appropriate internal temperature, without the risk of overcooking. Another tip is to set a timer when cooking more delicate foods and to check on your food frequently to prevent burning. By understanding the science behind burnt or overcooked food, you can save yourself a lot of frustration and wasted food. In the next section, we'll show you how to fix a burnt or overcooked meal, so stay tuned. 3. Assessing the damage now that you've taken some time to remove the burnt or overcooked portion of your meal, it's time to assess the damage. This step is crucial in determining how to move forward and salvage what you can of your dish. Here are some factors to consider when assessing the damage. Type of food, different types of food will react differently to being burnt or overcooked. For example, if you're dealing with a burnt sauce, you may need to remove the top layer and continue. Cooking with what's left. But if you're dealing with overcooked vegetables, you may need to add some liquid and cook them a bit longer to soften them up. How long it was overcooked, the length of time that your food was overcooked can also play a role in how salvageable it is. 
If you caught the issue early on, you may be able to salvage most of your dish. But if the food has been burning or overcooking for an extended period of time, it may be harder to save. Degree of burning slash overcooking, the severity of the issue can also impact how much of your meal is salvageable. If the food is only slightly burnt or overcooked, you may be able to remove the affected portions and continue cooking with what's left. But if the food is completely charred or mushy, it may be more difficult to save. When assessing the damage, it's important to avoid common mistakes such as throwing it away without trying to fix it. Sometimes, a little bit of creativity and experimentation can go a long way in salvaging a burnt or overcooked meal. So, take some time to carefully assess the damage and consider your options. In the next section, we'll discuss some practical tips and techniques for fixing your burnt or overcooked meal, so stay tuned. 4. The Reverse Cooking Method Now that we've covered some of the basics of avoiding burnt or overcooked food, let's talk about the reverse cooking method. This technique is a game-changer when it comes to salvaging a meal that's gone wrong. Essentially, the reverse cooking method involves undoing the cooking process in order to fix burnt or overcooked food. So, how does it work? Well, it all comes down to controlling the temperature and cooking time. When food is overcooked or burnt, it's typically because it's been exposed to too much heat for too long. The reverse cooking method involves cooling the food down and then cooking it again at a lower temperature for a shorter amount of time. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to using the reverse cooking method. Remove the burnt or overcooked food from the heat source immediately. This will help prevent any further cooking or burning. Transfer the food to a cool surface, such as a plate or cutting board. This will help stop the cooking process and cool the food down. Once the food has cooled down, assess the level of cooking. If it's only slightly overcooked, you may be able to salvage it without further cooking. If it's burnt or severely overcooked, you'll need to move on to the next step. Preheat your oven to a low temperature, such as 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Transfer the food to a baking dish or sheet and cover it with foil or a lid. This will help trap moisture and prevent further burning. Place the dish or sheet in the preheated oven and cook for a shorter amount of time than the original recipe called for. Keep a close eye on the food to ensure it doesn't overcook again. Once the food is cooked to your desired level, remove it from the oven and let it rest for a few minutes before serving. By using the reverse cooking method, you can turn a burnt or overcooked meal into something delicious and edible. It may take a bit of practice to get the timing and temperature just right. Once you've mastered this technique, you'll be amazed at how many meals you can salvage. In addition to the reverse cooking method, there are a few other tips and tricks you can use to avoid burnt or overcooked food in the first place. Let's review some of these now. Another way to avoid burnt or overcooked food is to use a meat thermometer. This handy tool allows you to track the internal temperature of meat as it cooks, ensuring that it reaches a safe temperature without overcooking. Different types of meat have different recommended cooking temperatures. So be sure to consult a temperature guide before using a meat thermometer. Additionally, using the right cooking equipment can make a big difference when it comes to avoiding burnt or overcooked food. For example, using a non-stick pan can help prevent food from sticking and burning. Using a cast iron skillet can help distribute heat evenly and prevent hot spots. Investing in quality cookware and tools can make a big difference in the quality of your meals. Finally, it's important to pay attention to your food as it cooks. While it can be tempting to multitask or step away from the kitchen while your food is cooking, this can lead to overcooking or burning. Instead, stay in the kitchen and keep an eye on your food, checking it frequently to ensure it's cooking properly. By using a combination of these tips and tricks, you can avoid burnt or overcooked food and create delicious, flavorful meals every time. And if you do happen to burn something, don't worry, just remember the reverse cooking method and give it another try. The tips and tricks for fixing specific types of food. Now that we've covered the basics of how to fix a burnt or overcooked meal, let's dive into some specific tips and tricks for fixing different types of food. Whether you've burnt your steak to a crisp or overcooked your pasta until it's mushy, we've got you covered. First up, let's talk about meat. If you've overcooked your meat and it's tough and dry, there are a few things you can do to salvage it. One option is to slice the meat thinly and serve it with a flavorful sauce, such as a chimichurri or a mustard-based sauce. This can help mask the dryness of the meat and add some much-needed flavor. 
Alternatively, you can try braising the meat in a flavorful liquid, such as beef broth or red wine. This can help tenderize the meat and add moisture. Next, let's move on to vegetables. If you've overcooked your vegetables and they're mushy and lacking in flavor, there are a few tricks you can use to fix them up. One option is to add some acid to balance out the flavor. This can be as simple as squeezing some lemon juice over the vegetables or adding a splash of vinegar. You can also add a bit of sweetness to balance out the flavor, such as a pinch of sugar or some honey. Another option is to roast the vegetables in the oven with some olive oil and spices. This can help bring out their natural sweetness and add some texture. If you've overcooked your pasta and it's mushy and lacking in flavor, don't despair. One trick is to rinse the pasta under cold water to stop the cooking process and remove some of the starch. This can help prevent it from getting any mushier. You can also try tossing the pasta with a flavorful sauce, such as a tomato-based sauce or a pesto. This can help mask the overcooked flavor and add some much-needed taste. Finally, let's talk about rice. If you've overcooked your rice and it's mushy and lacking in flavor, there are a few things you can do to fix it up. One option is to spread the rice out on a baking sheet and bake it in the oven for a few minutes. This can help dry it out and add some texture. Another option is to make fried rice. This involves cooking the rice in a pan with some oil, vegetables, and seasonings. This can help add some flavor and texture to the rice. So there you have it, some tips and tricks for fixing specific types of food. With these techniques in your arsenal, you'll be able to salvage almost any meal that's gone awry. For conclusion. And there you have it, folks, the reverse cooking method for fixing burnt or overcooked meals. We hope you found this video informative and helpful, and that you're feeling confident about trying it out for yourself. To recap, the key points to remember are, proper heat control is crucial, the right tools and cookware can make a big difference, and knowing how to salvage different types of food is essential. We've shown you the step-by-step -step process for fixing burnt pasta, overcooked meat, and more, so you'll be ready for anything that comes your way in the kitchen. But beyond just the practical benefits of this method, we want to emphasize the importance of not wasting food. In a world where so many people go hungry, it's important to do our part in reducing food waste whenever we can. By learning how to salvage a seemingly ruined meal, not only are we saving money and resources, but we're also gaining a sense of satisfaction and accomplishment. So, we encourage you to give this method a try and see for yourself just how effective it can be. Whether you're a busy parent, a novice cook, or a seasoned pro, we're confident that you'll find value in this technique. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon for notifications. We're always creating new content to help you improve your cooking skills and make the most out of your time in the kitchen. This has been the good chef that cooks in reverse to correct the problem. And remember cooking is all about experimentation and learning. Even the biggest kitchen disasters can be turned into delicious triumphs with the right mindset and approach. Thanks for watching and happy cooking! Visit our website for amazing kitchen products and grocery.